Okay, folks, welcome to topic five in class work. Question number one, what is the chemical formula for ethane? Answer, C2H6. A, ethane is a paraffin hydrocarbon, also called an alkane. And it is any of the saturated hydrocarbons having the general formula CnH2n plus 2. C being a carbon atom, H a hydrogen atom, and N an integer. Uh, the paraffins are major constituents of natural gas and petroleum. Paraffins containing fewer than five carbon atoms per molecule are usually gaseous at room temperature. Those with 5 to 15 atoms are usually liquids. And the straight chain paraffins having more than 15 carbon atoms per molecule are solids. Branch chain paraffins have much higher octane number rating than straight chain paraffins and therefore are more desirable constituents of gasoline. The hydrocarbons are immiscible with water, but are soluble in alcohol, uh, absolute al alcohol, ether, acetane. All paraffins are colorless. Let's look at question number two. If our syringe contains ethane as a gas at 60 degrees Fahrenheit with a pressure of 400 PSIA, what would occur if we would reduce the inside area of the syringe by pushing the plunger into the reduced area? Well, as you can see, by looking at the answer for answer number two, uh, I would like to break that answer down into three phases. Phase one, phase two, and phase three. Uh, let's take a look at the chart to explain each phase. Take a look first at phase one. We've got gas in a syringe and there is no exit. So as we move the cylinder in to the syringe, what we see is that the pressure increases. Uh, however, it's still gas until we hit the dew point. The dew point is the first point where liquid begins to appear. Now, as we continue to push the plunger in, reducing the area inside our syringe, what we see is more liquid forms and less gas. And this is under phase two. But yet the pressure does not increase. Pressure will remain constant until we hit the bubble point. The bubble point, or shortly after the bubble point, is where we begin phase three. Since liquid will not compress very easily, the reduction as we continue to try to push our plunger in to reduce the area, uh, we have little success. But yet the pressure increases rapidly and uh, what's in the cylinder at that point is nothing but liquid. Beyond the bubble point, nothing but liquid exists. The bubble point is the point at which the last gas bubble exist. Okay, I hope this has been a benefit to you. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact me uh, in class and we can do, go over this in a little bit more detail. Thank you.